Good morning. Good morning, morning, morning. Welcome to everyone who's joining us today. Let me turn the music down. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? Vero Smith, Emrod, Angel Baby. Cali Faith Chick, I think it said. Rock Church, Oklahoma. Burro, Latina. What's up, Antoine? What's up, my brother? What's happening, everybody? Good morning, family. Yes, yeah, say good morning to each other. This is going to be awesome today. What's up, Gwen? I hope that uh, all of you are enjoying our time together. What's up, good morning. And for all of you, what's up, Marion? For all you people who are watching this uh, recording after, I hope you can join us uh, before January 29th. We're going to do this on January 29th. Come on at uh, 8 o'clock every day, Pacific Standard Time. And we'll do 15 minutes. 15 minutes, get your day started. And, um, and remember, the purpose of this is not only for us to pray and get our day started, but it's also to inspire a habit of prayer. And hopefully that you're getting used to this and you're being encouraged to start your day slow and calm and or if you want to hype it up, you can do that, no, no problem. But start your day with God, however God wants you to start your day. Um, but, you know, in the Word, I know we don't, we don't do a lot of Bible reading here. That's not what this is about. But I've already done that. So this is kind of part two to my day uh, beginning. But I just want to encourage you that you, you leverage this experience to say, okay, how am I going to, how can I improve how I start my day? You may hear a little music in the background. I have, uh, if you type in instrumental worship music. I do instrumental because I don't want to hear words when I'm praying because I'll, I'll start praying those words. Um, but when I want to have my own prayers, thoughts, and I just listen to music that calms me down. So, um, And then there's other times I'll use words when I want to worship. So... Um, Good morning, everyone. Robin, how you doing? R. Jean, how you doing? Uh, Ride to Judah, how you doing? And so um, hopefully this is encouraging you to do that, is to have a, a daily discipline. Uh, Evelyn, you're welcome. Have a daily discipline to pray, calm yourself down, engage with the presence of God. Acknowledge the presence of God. That's why we say Yehovah Shema. If there's one thing you're going to learn, you're going to learn that term. Yehovah Shema. The Lord is there. If he's there, he's here. So the meaning of it is that God is where you are at. And uh, I'm going to give you a little history. It was symbolic. It was, it was, it was a, a sign on the temple that Ezekiel saw. It's the very last words of the book of Ezekiel that God is in the temple, but God built a temple symbolic that, because we are the temple, he lived, wants to live in us, not in a building. But it was the place where people went to meet God, and it was setting them up to understand that, that God lives in the temple and that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yehovah Shema. Okay. So before I start, let me remind you, tomorrow we have our evangelism training with the author of God's Not Dead, Rice Brooks, best-selling author. They have movies, God's Not Dead. He's got another book called The Human Right, which, by the way, right here, it is absolutely incredible. And what we're going to be talking about tomorrow is encourage you, empower you to share your faith in a very casual, conversational way, not shouting on the corner, talking to people you know um, and how to get to know people you don't know but in conversation how do you share the gospel confidently tomorrow will be the beginning of a process of learning how to do that and I'm so excited because it's going to empower you encourage you 
And uh, if you register to that, um, and you can just walk up, but you're going to eventually register because we, want, we have to know your contact because we want to follow up with you after. But if you registered it, we sent an email out. I think it went last night or this morning, and I have a short video to you. So please be looking for that from Brushfire, I believe it is, or from The Rock. I can't know the title, what it's going to look like. But look for an email about the evangelism, think of evangelism training. And I sent you an email with um, some instruction, get there on time early. We have over just under 1,200 people signed up. We want to start as close to 9 o'clock as possible. It's not like church where we got 20 minutes of worship. We're going to get to it, and we got a lot to cover. So get there, please, at 8. The door is open at 8.30, so try to get there so you can get in the doors at 8.30 and get in your seat and get ready, and we're going to get after it, and it's going to be amazing. So, um, And then, if you can, memorize the gospel. Memorize the gospel that we gave you in the email that I preached Sunday. Um, again, um, we sent that to you. Okay. Okay, you're coming down from San Francisco. That's awesome. Awesome. I'm flying into San Diego tonight. We'll attend tomorrow. Fabulous. It's going to be awesome. Um, and God's going to, God is going to encourage you. 805. Let's go. Okay. I'll take a deep breath. Say with me. Yehovah <laughs> Shema. Out loud, say, the Lord is there. Say with me out loud, the Lord is with me. Say with me out loud, Yehovah Shema. I want to ask everybody to close your eyes, take a deep breath. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for everyone that's on this call. I thank you for their faith, their diligence. I thank you for their trust in me to be on this call with me. I thank you that you love them. And that whether they're in their car, their closet, sitting on the bed, the couch, sitting at the cubicle at work, walking through the airport with their headphones on. I thank you that you know everything about what's going on in their life, their pain, their struggles, their doubts, their fears. And I thank you that you have answers to all their questions, their problems, their burdens. And I thank you that those worrying about their money, you have money answers. Those worried about their health, you have health answers. Those worried about relationship, you have relationship answers those worrying about carrying a broken heart you heal broken hearts you do heart transplant and I pray that you would encourage and empower all of us to look back to the times in the past that you've healed us You've delivered us. You've answered our prayers. You've opened up doors of opportunity. You did the miraculous, the impossible, the improbable in our life countless times. So as our eyes are closed and our heads are bowed, we want to tell you we love you. We want to tell you we worship you. We want to tell you we thank you. We want to tell you we praise you. Eyes closed, heads bowed. Just say out loud with me, dear God. Thank you for your faithfulness. Say Yehovah 
Shema. I know that you are here with me. Say, Yehovah Shalom. You are the Lord of peace. You make things complete. Eyes closed, heads bowed. Repeat all this with me. Yehovah Shalom. You are the Lord of peace. Say Yehovah Shalom. Lord, give me peace. Fill my heart with clarity. Fill my heart with truth. Say Yehovah El Amen. The Lord God of truth. Thank you, God, that everything you say is true. You are the way, the truth, and the life. You cannot lie. You cannot misrepresent truth. The truth of your light is a lamp and a light to my path. You bring clarity to what is dark and vague. Dear God, give me clarity. Open the eyes of my heart that I may see what you see. Say, El Roi, you are the God who sees me. Thank you, God. I praise you, God. Say, Holal El. Holal El. H A W L A L. Holal El. It means praise the Lord. We say, Hallelujah. Praise Jah. Say, Holal Yehovah, praise the Lord. Holal Yehovah, praise the Lord. Say Holal El, praise God. Say, Lord, we praise you. We praise you for your holy character. We praise you for your loving ways. We praise you for your patience. We praise you for your wisdom. We praise you that you have gone ahead of us. You are fighting our enemies. You protect us more than we could ever know or ask. You are behind us in front of us, to the left and right, below and above. We are secure. Say, Yehovah Shalom. Lord, because you are almighty God, I have peace. Because you have forgiven me, I have peace. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Please say all this out aloud with me. Say, dear God, you are the God who provides. You are Yehovah Yere. Say with me, Yehovah Yere. Say, Jesus. I love you. Say, Jesus, I love you. Say, Jesus, I love you. Say, Jesus, I trust you. 
Take a deep breath. There is power in your name, Jesus. Repeat with me out loud. There is power in your name, Jesus. I love you. I trust you. I rely on you. I depend on you. I can't go ahead of you. God and direct my steps today. In Jesus' name, amen. Ooh, come on. You are ready for your day. I don't care what the devil's got planned. God's got better plans. He's got more power for you. He's got open doors for you. He's got a miracle and a surprise for you today. Ask God to open your eyes that you may see what he's doing every step of the way. Be looking through faith all day long to see what God is doing, what God is showing, what God is saying what God is opening, how God's moving, how he's transforming your heart. Be looking for it all day. And go through it slow and methodical. Don't rush so fast you miss it. Tomorrow I'll see you at the training. And guess what? At 8 o'clock, I will be on this call. And if you're coming to the evangelism training, get, get to the training do this call in your car, jump out your car, and then we're ready to go. God bless you. See you tomorrow.